During a significant portion of my childhood, my grandparents had a small homestead down by the Rio Grande River. It was actually right across the levee bank from where the river was. And of course, I have many, many wonderful memories and stories of spending time with them. Um, you know, there was a barn to play in, there was every animal you could imagine to play with, and just a lot of good times there. Um, but one of the things that I always remember is they had, in addition to, you know, like calves and sheep and goats and chickens and all of that, they had peacocks on their property. And they had two or three peacock hens and one male peacock. And I don't know if you've ever been around peacocks before, but especially the males are very, very aggressive birds. Um, and of course, you know, they're known for those beautiful arrays of tail feathers that are so beautiful. And of course, when they, when they put on the show with the tail feathers is typically when they're courting the hens. And when they're in this mindset is when they're most aggressive. Well, a lot of times I would go out with my grandmother to get the eggs out of the hen house and uh, we would walk past where the peacocks were at and the male peacock would always get really aggressive with me. Um, you know, sometimes they would try to flog you. You know, when a bird flogs something, they kind of like attack it. Um, and for some reason, this peacock was always kind of threatened by me. And I mean, this is when I was probably four or five, so I was just like a little guy. Um, so I was, I was afraid of him because he would be really aggressive towards me. So whenever we were going out to get the eggs, I would always hold my grandma's hand and stand really, really close to her. So this is kind of like our little routine. We had an understanding between my grandma and I and the peacock, and we all just kind of like left each other alone. Well, on this one particular day, we were going out to gather the eggs. It was always right around sundown. And the peacock hens were running around, but the male was nowhere to be seen. So this was great. I, I, I kind of had this sense of freedom because I didn't need to be afraid. You know, I always held my grandma's hand because I was afraid that he was going to, you know, get me. But since the peacock wasn't around, I let go of my grandma's hand and I was running around and doing different things and, you know, maybe trying to get in trouble or whatnot. But anyway, so I was over um, playing near the haystack. And then we eventually realized the reason that we weren't seeing him is because the male peacock was up on top of the haystack. So as soon as I got close enough, he literally jumped off the top of the haystack in flight, and these are not really birds of flight, but in flight, landed right on top of me and started aggressively flapping his wings, and he was like trying to get me. It scared my grandmother so badly that she grabbed a, a, ba a roll of bailing wire off of the ground and whacked the bird over the head and killed it. Um, so after that, I always remember my grandmother, my parents, and my aunt and uncle having these beautiful arrangements of peacock tail feathers in vases that came from him. And any time I would look at those, I would always remember the day that my grandmother whacked the peacock over the head with a roll of bailing wire and killed him.